Okay, I needed to do a knurl, and I've never really done one uh, that worked out before. So I uh, got online and I looked, and at Conrad Hoffman, it was ConradHoffman.com is where I got this idea. But anyway, um, you take uh, your knurl and take it out of the uh, the holder. Here it is right here. So you take this out, take your neural out. I ran it on some uh, on an ink pad like you would do stamps with, then slid it on this rod and rolled it down the paper. Okay? Then you count it off. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So you mark it off in fives, you know, each line. One, two, three, four, five. And you keep going until you get a pretty good length, you know, because the, the longer you do, the more accurate it's going to be. Okay, so then I measured that from here to here with uh, my calipers, you know, like this, measure it out, okay, and it was 4.388. Then when you count the teeth, there's 75 teeth there. So you take the distance, 4.388, you divide that by the number of teeth, which gives you this number right here, all right? Then you take that number and you divide it by pi, all right, and that gives you this number right here. Then I wanted, I was making these knobs right here, all right. So the the diameter of them was two inches and two hundred and fifty thousandths. So I wanted to start with a two point two five. You divide that by this number right here, okay. And that gives you 120.8378. Okay, <clears throat> this number here is telling you um, the distance apart of the ridges of your neural. Okay, each one of these ridges, how far apart they are. So what you want is you want it to come all the way around the part and then catch and then fall right back in the ditch that the one right before it made, the mark that the one right before it made. So this 0.8378 is what's going to mess up your neural. You want this to be an even number. Well, an even or odd number, but you don't want no decimal places. So you drop off the decimal places, take 120, and multiply it times your, your I think it's the pitch diameter or whatever, whatever this number is right here, okay? So this times that equals 2.234. So I turned the outer diameter of this knob down to 2.234 and then put the knurl up against it and knurled it. And you can see it did a really good job. Let's see if I can get it even. I don't know if it'll... And then I filed the top off the off the top of it. So, all right, that's how you you figure out um, the diameter that you have to set for your neural uh, to uh, match up and form properly. All right, thank you for watching.